Harry Potter Magic Awakening is a deep and rich game full of features to help your overall gameplay potential. Here are just 10 of the must-know features in-game. Yo, this is your boy James over at Spectral Go, bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Harry Potter Magic Awaken content. I find myself enjoying more and more the strategic element of deck building in Magic Awaken, trying multiple card types and rarities for any situation in game, especially now since I found out you can record yourself saying the spell and it will be played back in your voice anytime you use that spell in combat. Just go to the charms icon in the bottom right of the UI or the echo icon beside you in Dueling Club. Tap on the card you want to say the spell for. Then you'll see a mic icon to the left. Tap on that and follow the directions to record and save. That's it. I just need the dark card Avada Kedavra so I can record Voldemort from the movie saying the spell in game. If you're like me and find yourself missing Avada Kedavra or other cards, but don't know which specific cards you're missing, you can go in your charms icon, tap the tag icon to the left of your spell book, and it will reveal every card currently in the game, with the grayed out cards being the ones you're currently missing from your spell book. It's a pretty great feature to use for trading and overall for deck building hidden right under your nose. Oh. Sorry, Voldemort. What you won't have to say sorry for is copying your opponent's deck. Yes, this feature allows you to copy and paste your opponent's deck build simply by going into the Dueling Club feature, tap on the highlights icon on the left, then click my results, which reveals your recent duels on the right. Tap on the arrow under your selected recent duel and hit copy deck. Now you can have the deck replace one of your current builds or make an extra deck slot for 1000 gold. Either way, you can try out another deck build that your opponent made getting insight into possible dueling strats. Keep in mind though, if you don't have a card or two in your spell book that your opponent has, it won't show up. But again, it's another great way to try different strategies and improve your overall knowledge of combat in Magic Awaken. Another way to improve your combat skills and knowledge is with the same highlights feature, but by watching replays of your recent battle against your opponents and even saving or sharing the clips on the notice boards. With this replay feature, you can speed up and pause gameplay footage, even switch between yours and your opponent's deck, watching their spellbook and card strategy just by hitting the refresh button over top of the deck. Speaking of looking at other decks, did you know during duo duels, you can have your partner's deck showcase during battles. To turn on this feature, just go and tap on the settings gear icon in the lower left of the UI. Hit the gameplay tab and scroll all the way down to turn on show teammates hand in multiplayer battles. This is a game changer for organized battles and duo duels or forbidden forest runs with friends. Seeing your teammates hand allows you to communicate in game or using discord, which is what my five social clubs do, strategically telling them to wait or use a card coordinating attacks between both of your decks for maximum damage. If you aren't a part of a social club, be sure to join our Discord and join any of the five clubs we have under the Expecto Go banner, open to all types of players. Since you're here, you should also head on over to the Privacy tab and Settings. There, once you scroll down, you can turn on and play while incognito, making you invisible to your friends online while playing Magic Awaken. I find this feature to be a must have for content creating so I can have clean gameplay footage without invite pop-ups. Also, you never have to feel guilty turning down invitations to classes, duels, or other events. And when you're finally ready to play socially, just turn the feature back off. Lastly, in the settings, sharing of personal information. Make sure to turn this off. This is a hidden feature everyone needs to know is here and kudos to the Harry Potter Magic Awaken team. Now, what you don't have a choice in sometimes is a duel's outcome, especially when climbing the top wizard rankings. But a feature that isn't talked about enough allowing you to maintain dual points and even your dual tier is potions. 
If you open your knapsack in the bottom right of your UI, tap on potions, you'll see the draught or draft of peace, small and large. This is unlocked fairly early in the story if you don't have it, but what it allows you to do is points will not be deducted from your tier rank when you lose your next three dueling club matches. This protection lasts for 30 minutes. It can only be used in top wizard duels or duo duels and only works for those with 7,500 points or lower. A huge feature and buff when on the cusp of moving up to the next tier. Another huge buff thanks to the potion feature is used in the history of magic class and house team quizzes. Removing three incorrect answers for you and one incorrect answer for all participants. Unlocked further into the Magic Awakened storyline, a great buff for harder versions of those classes, helping you with those classes specific tasks. I'm telling you, don't sleep on the potions feature in this game. And the 10th and final feature is fairly obvious, but I cannot tell you how often I see the quote, I was today years old when comments in Discord about this, hiding the tasks tab on the left. So I'm going to share it anyway. Above to the left of the task list is an arrow. Tap it and the task will disappear, giving you a cleaner UI. And if you want it back just because you might have forgot what's on the list, well, tap it again and it'll reappear. Harry Potter Magic Awaken is such a deep and rich game full of hidden features you should try. So if you found some not mentioned here, place it in the comment section below for a part two video. And while you're there, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. All of it helps the video if you enjoyed it. While waiting for part two, check out the video to your right featuring tips on currency used in Magic Awaken. Shout out to our Patronus Squad supporters who keep the channel going every day. And of course, yourself for watching the video. Have a magical day. I'll see you in the next one. Until next time.